Seti Kamara moves to Neo 333 for 2022-23 Formula E season. With no reason to envy the exciting summer transfer market in European soccer, Formula E has had a spectacular break, with teams and drivers making big moves ahead of Season 9, which will see the debut of the Gen 3 car. What drew Seti Kamara to Neo 333? Let's get a better grasp of today's topic. Just stay tuned to Next Tech Venture, and we'll tell you everything. Without any further ado, let's get started. Competing in the all-electric FIA Formula E Championship is the NEO 333 Formula E team. The Chinese company Lishing Sports and the Hong Kong firm Gusto Engineering own and run the team. The team, which has raced under the names China Racing, Next EV TCR, Next EV NEO, and NEO Formula E team since 2014, when Nelson P.K. Jr. won the inaugural FIA Formula E Drivers' Championship, has competed in every season of the FIA Formula E World Championship. NEO 333 is the newest team on the Formula E grid that has expressed interest in using the new rules. More and more teams are deciding whether or not to switch to the new Gen 3 regulations for Formula E as the season progresses. Earlier on Thursday, it was announced that NEO 333 would sign on to the new rules for the championship. Sergio Seti Camara Filho, born May 23, 1998, is a Brazilian racing driver who currently competes in Formula E for the NEO 333 FE team. He previously worked as a test and development driver for McLaren before joining the Red Bull Junior team. After spending his childhood competing in go-kart races, Camara made the transition to the Brazilian Formula 3 championship at the age of 16, which is the youngest age allowed by Brazilian law for a person to compete in a car race. He did the right thing and joined the series in the middle of the season, teaming up with Pedro Piquet, who did the right thing and won the series. However, Camara would put in a respectable performance while also making his debut in the European Formula 3 championship. Camara's appearance would be his first in the series. The European Dream for the year 2015, Kamara would then make the decision to relocate permanently to Europe, where he would be offered a seat with Moto Park in the European F3 Championship for the entirety of the season, in addition to a spot in the Toyota Racing Series in New Zealand. Again, despite the fact that Kamara was destined to have a less than spectacular season, the Brazilian racer earned a spot in the Macau Grand Prix, thanks to a couple of podium finishes in F3, which was held at the end of the season. Unfortunately, Kamara would, as he always does, flatter to deceive, setting a new lap record at Macau on his way to finishing 22nd in the race despite the fact that he initially led the pack. In spite of this, Kamara would compete in the European F3 Championship with Moto Park in 2016, having also secured a position in the Red Bull Junior team. However, despite the fact that the Brazilian had a strong beginning to the season and showed a significant one-lap pace, his results began to decline after the halfway point in the season. Even a third-place finish at the 2016 Macau Grand Prix, where Kamara finished just behind Antonio Felix de Costa and Felix Rosenkist, was not enough for Red Bull to continue their interest in Kamara. However, he was able to secure sufficient funding from other sources to compete in Formula 2 in 2017. Experiential Gains and Lessons it took some time for Kamara to get up to speed in Formula 2, and it wouldn't be until the second half of the season that he would earn his first points finish. Kamara then picked up his first win in Belgium. In point of fact, if Kamara were to have a strong finish in the season, he would be able to move up to the 12th position in the championship and join the title contending Carlin team alongside Lando Norris. The Brazilian athlete did his part to challenge for the championship early on, but was unable to pick up a victory, which resulted in him finishing 6th in the series. Kamara made the move to the DAMS team for the 2019 season, where he would compete alongside Nicholas Latifi in an effort to win the Formula 2 championship once more. The Brazilian driver did as expected and moved up to fourth place in the series while also claiming two more victories. This led to Kamara signing a seat-sharing deal with Carlin for the 2020 IndyCar Series season, which marked a partial move away from the Formula 2 championship. The Brazilian racer debuted in 2015 in the Macau Grand Prix. Despite a disappointing 22nd place finish in his debut, he demonstrated his potential by setting a new lap record of 1 minute 5 seconds. His best finish in the subsequent two years was third in 2016. The urban street circuit is nothing new for Seti Kamara. At the 2020 Marrakech Rookie Test, he competed for Dragon ahead of his debut in the final six races of the 2019-2020 ABB FIA Formula E Championship. When the session was over, his time was second fastest. As a result of his outstanding performance in Berlin at the season finale, NEO 333 team officially announced the addition of Sergio Seti Camara as a new driver in this case. 
The Brazilian joins the team after a string of impressive performances in Season 8 of the All-Electric Racing Championship, including pole positions in Berlin, New York, London, and Seoul. The Brazilian driver replaced Brendan Hartley in Formula E for the final six races of the 2019-2020 season in Berlin, and he stayed with the American team for the following two years, reaching a career-best ninth place at Diria the following season. Sunny Camaro impressed last season despite having to make do with outdated equipment, and he entered his car into the duels on multiple occasions. After falling out of the podium contention late in the first race of the 2021-2022 London E-Prix due to a systems problem, he recovered to finish ninth in the second race. A settled management structure within the NEO 333 team has given it hope that it can begin the Gen 3 era competitively, and as a result, he has been transferred there. I'm very happy to join the NEO 333 family, and I want to thank everyone on the team who believed in me for this opportunity, Seti Kamara said. I've made it no secret that I'd like to keep racing in the FIA Formula E World Championship, and the arrival of the Gen 3 car has me very psyched. I want to thank everyone on this team who believed in me for this opportunity. As for the new Gen 3 car, he said, I've been very open about my wish to remain in the FIA Formula E World Championship. We are delighted to be able to bring Sergio on board, an EO333 team principal Alex Wee said. We've been thoroughly impressed with his approach, and he is an incredible talent. For the NEO 333 Formula E team, securing his services is the final piece of the puzzle needed to move up the Formula E standings. We have tremendous drive and momentum as we move into Season 9. At the second Rome e pre race, Oliver Turve finished 7th and Dan Tictum finished 10th to earn EO 333 7 points from the previous season. There's been no word on who will be Seti Kamara's teammate at NEO 333, but Dan Tictum had previously told Motorsport.com that he hoped to return for a second year. The only teams yet to announce their drivers for the season are Dragon Penske, who will likely merge into a new DS-led operation, and Maserati MSG, formerly Venturi. Maserati seems likely to keep Eduardo Mortara, and Dragon's expected to announce contracts with new champion Stoffel van der Roon and two-time champion Jean-Eric Verne. Nick DeVries' overtures toward Formula One have complicated the full lineup for the Italo Mungagask squad, which had seemed like a shoe in prior to the Dutchman's breakout performance at the Italian Grand Prix. Sebastian Buemi is expected to join Nick Cassidy at Envision, while Maximilian Gunther, a former Nissan driver, and Jake Hughes, a Mercedes Reserve driver, are all possibilities for McLaren's second seat. How well do you think the Brazilian driver will do in Gen 3 and Season 9? And what's your thoughts on this? Let us know, please, in the comments down below. And on that note, we must wrap up for today. We hope our video was entertaining for you. Please subscribe to our channel so that we can continue to bring you amazing videos. Have a great rest of your day, and we thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.